Good afternoon, everyone. And we begin our Mass together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. We come to celebrate these sacred mysteries, asking for the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ to be with us in body, mind, and spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of all of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Loving God, author of every mercy and of all goodness, who in fasting, prayer, and almsgiving have shown us a remedy for sin, look graciously on this confession of our lowliness, that we who are bowed down by our conscience may always be lifted up by your mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated as we listen to our scripture reading. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, God delivered all these commandments. I, the Lord, am your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery. You shall not have any other gods besides me. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not leave unpunished the one who takes his name in vain. Remember to keep the holy, the Sabbath day. Honor your father and your mother, that they may have a long life in the land which the Lord has given you. You shall not kill, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house, and you shall not covet your neighbor's wife, nor his male or female slave, nor his ox or ass, nor anything that belongs to him. The word of the Lord. <laughs> Our response, Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Jews demand signs and Greeks look for the wisdom, but were, was proclaimed by Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But those are all called Jews and Greeks alike. Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than the human wisdom and the weakness of God is stronger than the human strength. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that ever, whoever believes in him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. 
Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them out of the temple area with the sheep and oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and turned over their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of scripture, zeal for your house will consume me. At this, the Jews answered and said to him, what sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, destroy this temple and in three days, I will rise it up. The Jews said, this temple has been under construction for 46 years and you will raise it up in three days. But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he raised from his, therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this and they came to believe the scripture and the words Jesus had spoken. While he was in Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover, many began to believe in his name when they saw the signs he was doing. But Jesus would not trust himself to them because he knew them all. And he did not need anyone to testify about human nature. He himself understood it well. The Gospel of the Lord. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Two weeks ago, I couldn't get a video to work in this place if my life depended on it. Last week, we finally figured out how to do Facebook Live with that little itty bitty camera right over there with the iPad. You just name one person man of the year and voila. I don't know what we're going to do next week, so come for coming attractions, right? But anyways, I'd like to thank the Ancient Order of Hibernians for the title for another year. We'd like to welcome them into the church. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor and privilege to be here at St. Patrick's Church. My family has been, a mem been members of this church for over 120-some years. My name is Patrick O'Malley. I am the president of the Ancient Order of Hibernians Paul Hook O'Malley Division IV. And it's my great honor and privilege to be here today to present our Man of the Year sash. I'd like to talk just a little bit about our Man of the Year. Our Man of the Year was our 2020 Man of the Year, and that was our own Father Fox. But 2020 was a tough year for all of us. Over 500,000 citizens died across our country from a pandemic, coronavirus. 
So the Man of the Year dinner took off March 4th, 2020, and it was the last large event, I think, that was in Lackawanna County. Everything shut down pretty much within weeks of that event. So it wasn't the normal Man of the Year type of year. We had the dinner, we had the speakers, we had the plaque presentation, but it wasn't quite the Man of the Year. So this past January, I reached out to our AOH division and asked them their thoughts on making Father Fox our Man of the Year for 2021 also. And the rational reason about that was, was because Father Fox had an incredible 2020. There was a lot of death, there was a lot of funerals, there was a lot of sorrow. And if there was a year that he deserved to be the following 2021 Man of the Year, that was the year that preceded this year. So it's my great privilege and pleasure to be here with Father Fox today. I'd like to call on my Vice President, Michael Robinson, to say a few words about Father Fox. Michael. Everyone in the church can be seated, please. Hi, I'm Mike Robinson, Vice President AOH, Division Four. But last time I was up on this altar, I got married. <laughs> I was nervous then, <laughs> a lot more now. But I did spend some time with Father Fox in the back and asked him if he wanted me to say anything about him. We, after about a half hour, we were speaking. The only thing he told me to do is go out, say five Hail Marys, and ten <laughs> Our Fathers. <laughs> but Father Fox has been here for what, about five years? From delivering donuts, to work in the pantry, to going to the churches, at the hospitals and the old age homes. I mean, he spends a lot of time, and I know, I'm sure everybody here knows how he is. He looks after everybody in this parish. So it's my pleasure to honor him as man of the year for the second year in a row. I hope he doesn't expect it next year. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Michael. At this time, I'd like to invite our past Commonwealth of Pennsylvania ancient or Hibernians president, our own Joseph Hosey, to come up and say a few words. Joseph. And just so everybody knows, Joseph is the one who chartered our AOH division approximately 17 years ago. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, Patrick. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, as Pat said, I'm the immediate past president of the Commonwealth. Uh, I, I live right here in this county. I'm from German. I'm also the president of Monsignor William Farrell in Carbondale. I just like to say, when, when, when these guys get together, the leprechauns, I call them, when they get together, they, they don't throw a dart at a dartboard saying who's going to be the man of the year, or some of us call it the Hibernian of the year. Uh, research is done, and you can see why this man was picked tonight, and I'm honored to be here for Father. A few years back, I was uh, helping Pat swear in the, uh, the new members, and we had a big dinner, and I, he asked me to speak, so I did a little bit of history on the ancient order of Hibernians. And I was telling the crowd how uh, they were formed in the 1500s to protect the Catholic Church and the clergy. And then I mentioned that they, they had a bounty on, on the church and also the, the, the priest. It was the same bounty they had on a fox. Mm -hmm. And then I realized Father Fox is in the, in the, it's in the, in the crowd tonight. Mm -hmm. But that's true. And I, once again, I'd like to just say how honored I am. You got a great man here. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to just acknowledge our past Men of the Year, Robert Kane, March 11, 2006. Your own and one of the best, James Connor, March 10, 2007. John Mayer, March 15, 2008. Myself, Patrick O'Malley, March 14, 2009. Joseph Holland, March 13, 2010. Gary Duncan, March 12, 2011. Joseph Walsh, 2012. John Connor, March 9, 2013. James Barrett, March 15, 2014. Matt McGloin, March 14, 2015. 
Mark McDade, March 12th, 2016. District Judge Terrence Gallagher, March 2nd, 2017. Kevin Shaughnessy, March 1st, 2018. Bernie McGurl, March 7th, 2019. Father Richard F. Fox, March 4th, 2020. And at this time, I'd like to ask Joe Holland, our treasurer, and Michael Robinson to come up so we can put the sash on our March 6, 2021 Man of the Year, our own Father Richard Fox. Father. This is his Irish seat belt. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Father, would you like to say a few words? Oh my gosh, how could you say that? <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Just want to say, please don't adjust your cameras with all these crazy colors <laughs> here in front of me. Uh, but certainly, uh, Patrick O'Malley is 110% correct that last year was the craziest year that we all endured family members and friends and people that we know have come in contact with this COVID-19 that has upset our lives in ways that we could never have imagined. I have come into contact with people through the over 100 funerals that we had in this parish to be able to deal with the deaths and the sadness that goes along with it. And certainly we want to be able to put that in the rear view mirror to be able to put it in perspective and certainly be able to move forward with a renewed understanding of how fortunate we are to be here today and to be able to say thank you to God for all the good gifts that God has shown in our lives and thank you to Jesus for not abandoning us. Thank you very much. I'm very honored and privileged to have this title for a second year in a row, and if I get it next year, I'm going to change my name to Father Tom Brady. <laughs> I, I just had to say one more thing. Um, next week we're having um, a drive-in night up at the Circle Drive-In. And we were talking about the films we were going to actually have. Well, the first one was going to be is The Quiet Man. And the sex, second one was Black 47. It's, a, it's an Irish movie, but it's rated R. So I called up Father Fox and I said, Father, this is what we're contemplating doing. We actually started to put it on a Facebook, right? And <laughs> Father said, oh... He didn't say anything. He calls me back. He goes, "You do realize this is R-rated." So, so if anybody goes to the movies next week, it's going to be 5:15. The Circle Drive is going to be open. It's going to be the Quiet Man and Father's other favorite, Rudy. So, they're both PG movies. So, so please come up for each, for family, and we're going to take donations of food for um, our pantry here at St. Patrick's. But thank you, Father. He he he's there to keep us on the straight and narrow. Let me tell you that much. Um, last, re this is very quick, and it's one of your own members here at St. Patrick's. The organization gives out a man of the year, then we give out an unsung hero, a person that's always there. And the person that this year's recipient is a charter member, he's a veteran, he's a good man, he's a parishioner of St. Patrick's. And at this time, I'd like for Robert Fletcher to bring up the Shillelagh Award, and this is the award we give out everywhere. And um, our unsung hero this year, is our own John Fletcher. Robert, take John's flag. <laughs> John was a charter member. He signed the first 15 signatures to make our organization. He's a true friend. His father was a true friend of my dad, the late Paul Hook O'Malley. And it's an honor and privilege on behalf of the Ancient Order of Hibernians, Paul Hook O'Malley, Division 4, to present you with this walking stick. Thank you very much. Uh, you like much. to say a few words? Well, <laughs> all right. He 
idea. I had no idea. I had no idea. No idea. <laughs> uh, I'm a little uh, starstruck here now, but uh, I'll cherish this for a year and keep it in a safe place and uh, try not to hit anybody. With that's for yours forever. That's yours. Yeah. That's yours. Oh, yep, boy. that's forever. You're I thought I had to give that up. <laughs> but thank you very much. Congratulations. I have no clue. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Thank, thank you very much. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Our response to the petitions will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may the Holy Spirit strengthen her in teaching God's law in spirit and in truth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, may God inspire their creation of policies that follow his commandments, especially that of respect for human dignity and life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering any type of disease or affliction, may Christ, the divine physician, bring them comfort and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those of us gathered here, may the Lord bless us in our Lenten journey. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have recently died, especially Cindy Grego, and for our Mass intention, Francis Lyon, whom we remember in prayerful way in this Mass. May they enter fully into the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those intentions which lie in the silence of our hearts, we pause. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Please pray with me now that these our gifts may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our covenant of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with these sacrificial offerings and grant that we who beseech pardon for all of our sins may take care to forgive our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by your gracious gift, each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal Feast with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on all your children. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all of the hosts and powers of heaven, we pray together. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. We bow our heads together. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We bow once again. The third mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, all the clergy, religious, and God's holy and faith-filled people. Remember also our family members and friends who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is with him and in him and through him, for it is through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We take this opportunity to remember the words from the Bible that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And you lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. We pray together, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please be seated. Just want to mention a few details uh, before we leave today. Uh, certainly we have two collections. The second one for the care and education for priests, that's the smaller basket. The taller basket is for the parish and be as generous as you are. Certainly I want to say a big thank you once again to the Ancient Order of Hibernians to be here today to bestow upon me uh, the Man of the Year title. I also want to thank Deacon Herb Crookshank and his wife is here, Beverly, to come all the way. And they were at last year's celebration, so they're at this year's celebration again. Thank you very much for being here. Certainly appreciate that. We also want to say a prayer for Pope Francis, who is traveling in Iraq this weekend, for peace and prosperity for all of his talks this weekend. And just like Pat O'Malley mentioned about the two films uh, at the Circle Drive-In, please bring uh, some money for the food pantry or bring some canned goods or non-perishable food items also for the pa food pantry uh, to be able to get in and watch the two good movies. And then next Saturday, a week from today, uh, I'm going to be on the Home and Backyard Show on Channel 16. They're having a St. Patrick's Day theme, so they came here to talk, and I talked a little bit about St. Patrick's background. So that's going to be Saturday morning, 10 o'clock, Channel 16. And also on Saturday, Pope Francis will have his 8th 
anniversary of becoming Pope of the Church. He's been the Pope for the last eight years now. And then also, of course, next weekend, make sure you spring ahead an extra hour uh, for the clocks. I didn't get a chance to give a big talk for the Hibernian, so I just wrote down a few thoughts of myself here. I want to thank once again to be given the title the Pandemic Man of the Year, which I think is different than last year. I'm not sure if that's the same or not. I can't believe there's no dinner this year. You didn't even bring me a happy meal from McDonald's. Not even a happy meal. How about that? What does a guy got to do to get a happy meal? <laughs> Certainly we want to say uh, two years in a row. I don't know if anybody else has done this. Maybe I'm the first person to get two years in a row. I think that's wonderful. It's another punch hole in my Man of the Year card. If I get three more, I get a 10% discount at Krispy Kreme Donuts. So thank you very much for helping me achieve that goal. I'm well on my way. Also, I want to say thank you to the people watching this on the Facebook Live. You may again need to adjust your TV screens for all the colors that I'm wearing tonight. It's the, um, it's the Lenten color and the sash colors. Uh, certainly they're all together. Maybe it's Irish reggae. I don't know what you call it. Uh, certainly want to say thank you again to Pat O'Malley for skipping the swimsuit competition so I got the job this year without having to go through that humiliation. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And again, next year, three-peat. What prayer do I have to say to get the three-peat and certainly to be able to make it many more years? How many years do you have to get it to be able to make it into the Guinness Book of World Records? for the Ancient Order Hibernian uh, Man of the Year, I'm not sure. So if anybody knows, certainly let me know. Thank you once again for coming and participating, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the evening. Thank you. Please stand. <clears throat> let us pray. As we receive the pledge of things yet hidden in heaven and are nourished while still on earth with the bread that comes down from on high, we humbly entreat you, O Lord, that what is being brought about in us in mystery may come to true completion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, loving God and one another. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful rest of the night, everybody.